Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make garlic and lime shrimps. Very, very delicious recipe, very, very easy to make. So we're just going to start out with two uh, full spoons of butter. Okay, just turn that around. Stir that around. Now along with this butter, we're gonna add some garlic. So you would need, so you start with two tablespoons of butter and then you're gonna add um, five cloves of chopped up garlic, okay? Just put that in. Stir it around until the garlic gets a little on the crispy side. Keep on stirring. And once you see your garlic kind of take on a little bit of a brown form, you're then going to want to add about a pound and a half to two pounds of shrimps. I'm stirring it around. You want to get that garlic flavor into the shrimps. Okay. Now we'll add the um, shrimps. Just kind of toss them around. Now I like to keep the shell on just because at the end, um, when the shrimps are done and cooked, we're gonna wanna make sure that they're nice and crispy before we remove them, because that's the best part of shrimps, when they're nice and cold and crispy. We're just gonna turn those around. Okay, keep on turning them. Get all those flavors going into the shrimps. So the flavor from the garlic. Just turn them around for a bit. I'd say keep turning them around for maybe about two or three minutes. And then we're gonna remove the shrimps at one point. Okay. Now we're just going to move the shrimps. We're going to put them back into the bowl. Try to keep the garlic and the butter in the pan. Now it's okay if some of the garlic goes on the shrimp because what we want is for the garlic to actually seep into the shrimp and give it taste. Just gonna remove the shrimps. So once all your shrimps are removed, what we're going to do is we are going to add two limes, okay, to our base here. Just squeeze two limes in there. Thank 
Give it up. And one more. We're going to turn down the stove a little bit. Stir this up. Okay. okay, now we're going to add the shrimps back into the pan. And then at you can decide what kind of seasonings um, you'd be interested in putting into your shrimps. So in my case, I like to use garlic powder, black pepper, and a little bit of, a little tiny bit of soya goya just to give it a red uh, color. So in this case, I'll use some Himalayan. So I'm gonna put some salt on those, pink salt. This is the stuff I use here. Now you do need quite a bit of this salt because this salt is really just flavoring the shrimps. It does require quite a bit of salt for it to salt them. And then I'll put a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And of course, a little bit of soya goya. Now this soya goya is actually really good. It just comes in small little packs. And you're just gonna wanna use a little bit of this just to give it some red coloring. And it's also very tasty, so it's pretty good. Okay. So now as you can see, we have some nice uh, red seasoned shrimps. I'm just going to stir it. Kind of stir it around. Get all of that flavoring throughout the shrimps. Just keep on stirring it. And as you can see, it's creating a nice juice. Okay, Just keep stirring them around. And then what we're gonna wanna do is add another two tablespoons of butter or teaspoons, whatever you, you prefer. And let that just melt in there. add any water just yet. We're going to wait for the butter to melt. And there it goes. Now we're going to spike up the heat. Just keep letting it cook. Now, you're gonna cook it like this until you notice that your shrimps start getting crispy. And when you notice that the butter starts to, um, you know, subside from the bottom, that's when you're gonna wanna turn off your stove, okay? So you're just gonna turn them until they get nice and crispy and until the butter starts to eliminate itself from the bottom of the shrimps. You're just gonna wanna do that. Now, as you can see, they're looking really delicious already. I'm just gonna let it cook. And that's basically how you make garlic and lime or garlic and lemon shrimps. Just letting it cook, keep turning it. And once you notice that the butter is almost gone, 
that will most likely be the time that your shrimps will be nice and crispy. Now what I'll do is I will use the end picture as my thumbnail for you all to see how it turned out. I am new to this, so I don't know how to speed up the videos just yet. I am learning. And hopefully that'll be soon. And thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if you like more cooking videos like this. I will be baking some banana bread and some cupcakes um, in the near future. So please subscribe. Thanks for joining my channel. Bye.